very basic video to show how to look for the needle in the haystack in large files, like large log files, and similar to what my good friend Polo does when he helps me troubleshoot things in Curita. So we are in the in this directory of our logs, and we are going to be playing with the file curator.log. This is a huge file. If we do the less with the LT, we get all this information. Notice that, you know, how big this text file is actually getting because everything is logged in there. So how do we find things in there? Well, if you were to use the traditional things that you use in Linux, like if you do cat curator.log to kind of a type it all in the screen, that's not going to get you too far because, you know, that file is way too big. If you were to pipe it with the more command, then you get one page at a time, but you can only go forward and it's pretty much useless in this particular case. Well, for that, thank goodness, there's the, the command less. If we were to use, instead of more, actually, we use less, and we type qreader.log, then what this thing does is that it puts the output, hit enter here, to this is the command line, puts the output of that entire thing, that entire file in this particular case, in a VI type of view. In a, in a, I'm sure you have used VI or Vim in Linux, so this is like kind of an editor, and you can do searches, and let's actually do first the navigation. In order to go down, you use the down arrow key to go one line at a, one line at a time, upper, of course, to go in the reverse order, the space bar for going one full page down, the command B as in lowercase bravo, uh, to go up one one page. Uh, what else? G, lowercase g as in George, takes you to the top of the file. Uh, Shift G of capital G uh, will take you to the end of the file. Again, you know, the upper key to go there. To exit here, you type the, the, the command Q as in quit, right? Let's actually go back there. Uh, I'm at the top of the file, so I'm but I'm scrolling down. What else? Uh, you can do searches in here. So I can actually go ahead and do a search. You, you, you use the forward slash and put whatever you are searching. So let me s let's say that I'm searching here for this uh, string here. So I'm going to put in the clipboard. I'm going to paste it right there. And I hit enter. This is going to find all the entrance all the instances of where this word is actually found. More on, on how you can count how many there are in there with the word count later. But uh, that's how you do searches. And this is going to search, uh, if, I, if I type the command N, it's going to find the next instance down. Uh, if you want to do searches in the upward direction, you type instead of the forward slash you put the question mark and you know you can put whatever it is that you're searching for and this finds that entry uh, like that right and the command n finds the next entry so one search up the other one search down and this one reached the the top of the file on the topic of searching, if you put the command dash uppercase i, notice that it says ignore case in searches and patterns. So I can actually go ahead and search for this string here. I'm going to copy it and paste it in here. And, and I want to put, you know, I'm going to put everything in lowercase because I'm searching on things. And you put the entire thing in, in lowercase, it'll find. Uh, that entry. If I look for the word harvested, notice that it finds both entries, up with the ones with, with uppercase and lowercase. So that is in terms of searches. Now, uh, one thing that, that might not be nice of this less command is that every line wraps around, right? And this is one line in here, another line in here, and that may make could make it hard to be read. So uh, let me exit here, and I'm going to invoke the less and put the option. Um, one thing is put the option 
right after the word less. Don't put it afterwards because otherwise it's going to treat that dash s as, an, as another file. So you can issue the less command with more than one file. So if I put it just like that, then we get the same view, but as you can see, this the, everything is on an individual line. So let's uh, type Q for quitting here. But less is actually more frequently used in combination with the grep command. Grep is going to find stuff in there. So for example, if we were to look into that file, if we do a grep to find the string, and that's what I'm putting in between single quote. If it's a single word, you don't need the single quote. But uh, I'm going to look for incoming raw. And then in the file, of course, qreader.log. But I want to pipe the results of these findings. In other words, every line that contains incoming row, incoming row, I'm going to pipe it to the less command that we just learned. And when we do that, every single line in here contains that incoming row. You see here, I only got the lines that contain that part. Very. This is becoming now a little bit more useful. And again, you, you can use the, the uppercase S option in the beginning to put in a single line, uh, etc. Let's actually quit here. And what else can we do? In the searches, it seems instead of using the forward slash, you use the question mark. It's exactly as the, as the forward slash, but you look upward. So if we were want to look in here for the this particular word from this particular string there, he actually, well, he has a space, so he should be able to find it even with the space. Yeah. So it finds all those instances, uh, and if I type on next, the, the command next, it finds the next entry. Again, this goes, question mark goes upward, uh, forward slash goes uh, downward. Let's actually quit here. If we uh, want to look, because these files and the logs, as they keep on growing, we may want to see the last part of the actual file, if we were to pipe the content of this, and we add yet another pipe, and we type, and we pipe it to tail, that's going to give me, by default, the last 10 entries in that huge file, the last 10 times that we find that incoming row event, you know, and here we see, if we were to count these entries in, entries in here, there will be uh, 10 in there. If you only want the last two, you put dash Two, you know, and you'll find. Let me actually clear the screen so this can actually be perceived better. We only see the last two entries, right? There's no limit on the number of uh, pipings that you can actually do. So in here we are looking at this only these two lines, but if we can actually keep on piping these. And let me actually remove the tail and put yet another pipe and do a grep. Let's say that we want to look into these lines, only one that the, the only ones that have the this uh, string in there, right? So all we need to do is actually put in single quote because this has uh, spaces in between, and we hit enter there where you know we we find that. So you can actually pipe. Uh, uh, one command after another. If you want to see how many entries uh, you have actually find, uh, you can even pipe that further and use the option word count and put give me the number of lines. And this is going to tell you how many instances. There are 412. And you get a feeling of how big these files can be and how hard can it be to find that needle in the haystack. And just to finish this uh, first video because uh, I think it's getting past the 10 minutes that I like. Uh, if you don't want to use, if you want, don't want to see the last two events, but you want to see the first two, instead of using tail, the, you use the equivalent command called head. 
and that's going to give you the first two entries. We're going to be seeing, exploring other commands in the next video of this series.